Hey guys, it's Demon BK, and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty World War 2 beta footage on the PC. I wanted to get this video out a little while ago, actually. I wanted to show you this uh, this gameplay uh, a while ago while the beta was alive and such, but I really didn't have the drive to do so, and that's because I'm just burnt out on Call of Duty. So, in this video, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about the beta, not much, because I haven't really got much to talk about, and just other games and stuff, uh, a little catch-up, I suppose, on me. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to start off with the, the beta stuff. Basically, I think this game looks like poo. I don't know how you guys think about that, but I think this this game doesn't look like a 2017 game at all. Graphically, I, I think it's pretty poor, and I think it shows that Call of Duty needs to move engines soon to, to keep up there with other games, because this game just doesn't look that great whatsoever. Unfortunately... The biggest issue I have with this game is it's Call of Duty. I'm just burnt out on Call of Duty, right? So, playing a Call of Duty is not going to solve me being burnt out on Call of Duty. Every Call of Duty at its root is the same, except for it's a different skin. So, if you're good at one Call of Duty, you're going to be good at another. And if you're not, you're a bit weird. Even going from Black Ops 3 to Boots on the Ground, if you can't transition there, there is something weird about you, I find, because... They're fundamentally the same game, they just have a few mechanics that make them a little bit different play-wise, but they're fundamentally the same. So, yeah, that's my main issue with Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty, and I'm burnt out on Call of Duty. I need something new. I used to get this feeling while playing Call of Duty that I just don't get anymore. Like, back in the day, when I was learning and trying to get good at Call of Duty and the, the COD 4 days... I used to struggle my tits off, right? I used to really, really try my hardest to try and get good. And I enjoyed that grind, like learning new things while playing the game. Like jump and then lean in around a corner to to peek really quickly or, you know, finding grenade spots or even just the normal, what we take for granted now, uh, the drop shot back in the day. When you could do all those moves and you learned them for the first time and they really improved your gameplay, it felt amazing because you felt like you were getting somewhere, you were rising up the ladder and becoming a better player. Whereas once you're at the top of that point and you don't feel like you can go any further than what you are at Call of Duty, I don't see the appeal in it anymore. Like for me, I've been at the top of where I have. I don't feel like I've got any better at Call of Duty in the last couple of games and I'm just I'm stuck at this invisible barrier and it's not that I want to get better at Call of Duty far from it really it's just I don't see myself improving so I don't really feel the game anymore like I used to Black Ops 3 I ground out for I don't know 1600 hours or something stupid like that really enjoyed that game there was enough difference there to make it you know, not feel 100% like Call of Duty, but it was still Call of Duty at its root. So it was enough of a mix-up, and I, I really enjoyed that game. Um, and I think that's sort of what killed it for me, putting so many hours into that game, I sort of killed Call of Duty off of me. So I don't get that feeling anymore. But then PUBG came out, right? And PUBG gives me this feeling of achievement when I win a game or when I do something cool. I don't even have to win a game. I can get a triple spray, or I can get a quad spray, or I can save the team. And I can die and still lose the game, but I still feel like I achieved something because we're working on this goal of winning the game, but it's like a trip. It's like taking the trip to the destination. The destination's awesome, but it's like the trip is what makes going to the destination cool. So for me, learning again in PUBG, because obviously... Uh, PUBG to Call of Duty are drastically different games. There are muscle memory, especially when you're playing first person with any game. If you're good at Call of Duty and you go into first person PUBG, you'll probably be fairly competent and, and pretty good. And that's where I'm at. But there's a lot of things that I still need to learn because the game is drastically different. It has different mechanics and different ways of playing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. And PUBG gives me that feeling of accomplishment that Call of Duty once did but doesn't anymore. Unfortunately, and that's a shame because I've played Call of Duty a lot. I really do miss the days of COD 4 Pro Mod. It was some of the most fun I've ever had, and I think I've been sticking to Call of Duty for the last few years, hoping it would go back to those those days. And I was really hoping it would happen with Black Ops 3 and the mod tools and such, and it didn't. So I feel like for me, it's time to to maybe drop Call of Duty and move on to other franchises. So, like I said, I've been on PUBG. I'm looking forward to Destiny 2. Destiny 2 
is something that I'm, I'm really excited about. Like, I played the beta, and I was super surprised that they made a port of Destiny 2 on PC that great when they haven't had a PC game in over 10 years, I think it is. So, that shows that they're trying to do the right thing by PC players. And you don't get that with Call of Duty. Admittedly, the beta for World War 2 was a lot better optimised than I was expecting. Like, it's, it's pretty weird, actually, when I think about it. Now, I usually complain about Call of Duty's on PC and I'll still play them but I'll say the optimization is pretty poor unless it's diabolical and it's like ghosts I, I just can't play it but if it's pretty poor uh, usually I, I can get away with it do some tweaks here and there and play the game and still complain because I enjoyed the gameplay at the time but the optimization was poor where as the World War 2 beta the optimization was pretty good but for me the gameplay was stale and it didn't offer enough of a difference, so it's pretty weird to be in the other way around. Uh, I don't like the fact that they restrict you on perks either, like a staple of Call of Duty for me was having uh, three perks, and now we have like this weird perk system thing. The menus in this game as well, whoever designed the menus need to be fired, like the menus in that game on PC were absolute garbage, really awful to use. There was some mouse acceleration as well. Which is the norm, you're going to get mouse acceleration issues in a beta for Call of Duty, I feel. And then usually they're, they're quite good at sorting it out on launch and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was it was fairly optimised to be honest. It was just the gameplay of it, I just it didn't offer me enough at all. Uh, and didn't warrant my time playing it. I actually uninstalled it when I first played it for a few hours and then uninstalled it. And it wasn't because I was bad, like I said, it's muscle memory. You can jump into Call of Duty, if you're good at one you're going to be good at the other. And I jumped into this game, and I actually got a 25 kill streak. Uh, it was it was fairly easy to play, and I got some good gameplays. It was just it didn't tickle me in the right places, if you know what I mean. There was there was nothing about it, and I can't put my my finger on it. But PUBG just it gets that itch, and, and Call of Duty just doesn't. And it's it's infuriating. Don't get me wrong, it's infuriating because I want to love Call of Duty because Call of Duty has been good to me, really. Like. On the YouTube side of things, I've, I've got the subscribers that I have and the viewers, and I've met people through Call of Duty. It's, it's been fantastic, but I can't play a game that just doesn't really gel with me. So anyway, guys, let me know down below how you feel about World War II. Yeah, as I said, it's not for me, so you're probably not going to see anything on the, the channel from me for, for this game in the foreseeable future, and it'll probably be the only gameplay you'll see. So anyway, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.